So here is the, what is it? This is programming challenge, Roman numeral converter. That's what it's called, I forgot. So anyway, what I did was, let's go back to the form. I need to clean this up a little bit. We'll do that right now. Just, this is a little too big, so we'll make this smaller. Oh, I got a kitty on my lap. All right, kitty. This is not to do today. Okay. So then I made that. I changed the text here to Roman numeral converter. Then I changed the form name to FRM Roman num convert. Put one, two, three lab. This is a result label. So this is where the, there's no text because the text goes in it from when it's converted. And then I made it the border style 3D fixed. And the Roman num result is what I called it. And I created a text box. So I'll enter the number in. Call it text box number. And then I the exit button. You got the me dot close and below you got your clear button which is when you click on the clear it clears the button oh and then it also what i also did i put a put the focus back into the text box after it's cleared so if you run it you got it. you can put in put 15. So then convert, I have a message box that pops up. The number you entered is an invalid number. Please enter a number between one and 10 and clear it and exit. So that works. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's see the, the exit again. On the clear. Yeah, it puts it back into there. Make sure this is 15. Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. So that works. And then in convert, at first I thought I would use a, what do you call it? I was going to use an integer value for each Roman numeral. But then in the, I think in the, in the programming challenge, it says to, yeah, use a select case statement identify which Roman numeral is the correct translation of the inner integer and then puts that in number or the Roman numeral value into the, the label the result label if the inner users an invalid value display an appropriate error message and do not attempt the conversion include an exit button and it, that closes the window okay so we saw the exit button and then we also saw the we saw the, the message. So I, when I was thinking about it, I originally, I was going to put in, you know, 10 Roman or 10 integer values and do a, a case statement for each integer. And then I got to thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, you don't need it. You only need one in, integer value. So here's where I declared the one integer number here. And then in the, the text box to convert it, to accept the number, here we go. And it's got the in text. And you need a, a variable to hold the string, which is this, which is numeral. This is here. So this goes into here. See? So then when it, when your int num equals 1, and this is where you put your range of values. I could have put 1 to 2, but that, that's kind of dumb because we're doing it for each integer value. So you could like, this is, this is the thing. Like if they did this for like, you could, you could have this as a nested statement where if you went, Oh, one, one to 49 would, eat, would look like this. And then you could do 50, which equals like, a, it's an L or something like that. But anyway, 
So this is the cases here. And um, so this is when the text box where int num equals this number in the text box. So you got text three equals three puts in the, so after it puts this into the number numeral as the Roman numeral here and here, then it puts it in the label result as the, and that's where it passes the numeral value here into here, and then it goes into here. So then you got, so you do that for all of these. I don't like, I guess we can close that. <laughs> oh, and here, here's where I made the little message box pop up. So if it's not a value between one and to 10, if it's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10, then you got your else statement, which is here. And then you make a message box and it shows a message box and it in a valid number entered please enter a number between one and ten that would work for if you put in a negative number as well and we can we can test that oh and then it also cl clears the the numeral the numeral uh variable and then you do the in select so anyway we'll, we'll play with that now here so we got it. In. Oh, let's try the negative number now. Invalid number entered. <laughs> cool. So we'll clear that and we'll go to put in, say put in 10 and it converts it to an X. That's right. Clear. Put in 8. Good. And exit. So it works right. So anyway, that's that's programming challenge. What is a programming challenge four dash two from uh, what's his name Tony Gaddis and Kip Irvine's introduction to Visual Basic? So that's everything there. That's everything you need. All right, cool. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.